What's up, guys? Welcome to the first ever episode 157 of the Kind of Funny Games cast. I am Tim Geddes, as always, joined by one of the coolest dudes in video games, Greg Miller. J-Lo and Iggy Azalea's Big Booty, booty song. Booty it's called Booty. is a great song, and mm -hmm. it did not get enough attention. No, 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 that's enough, that's enough. If you want to hear more about that, $10, <laughs> you can see it in the pre-show. <laughs> the pre-show on yeah. patreon.com. Really kind of Thank did you, I'm glad. Too, yeah. Somebody has to. Yeah. This is uh, Kevin Coelho, the glue. He's here. Now known as the Milkman. Now, nope. The, the Milkman, Captain. Kevin Kuala. The Captain. The Captain. Fun fact, many, many times I've gone on uh, Craigslist and looked up boats <laughs> and really thought about it. I was like, <laughs> where are we going? Well, I forgot the Captain part. I was very much with the Milkman and I was like, if you're going to say oh, you tried to buy a, a milk truck, of milk. Uh, if you tried to dry, drive Honestly, a milk truck. Honestly, how cool would it be if I had a milk truck? That'd be fucking awesome. Like, that, that's a unique shaped car. 100%. <laughs> yes, it is. Uh, yeah, that's the uh, thing. If I if I had to get another car, I mean, I'm gonna end up getting whatever. You don't have a car. If I well, I just mean if I, I've owned cars in my life before. Have you? Yeah, I had, Mustang, a, right? I had a Ford, Tor yeah, Ford yeah. Taurus and then a Ford Mustang. Right, 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 right. If I had to get another car, I would want to get something quirky and weird. Sure. I mean, I know what yeah, I'll end up with. Of course. With, of course. Yes. I'll, I'll get a Mini car. Cooper, four doors, white. Put the Ghostbusters logo on the front, the doors, and on the back, and then probably paint the top to look mm -hmm. like Ghostbusters. Mm -hmm. But like, I, I would love like to get an old school mail truck, get a UPS truck. You know what I mean? Not Make a Wolf Mobile from Teen Wolf. Because wow. I want something. That's... I want something unique. Yeah. Anybody can drive some fucking Prius. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Anybody can drive. A cool truck with a lot of His stories. Range Ranger, Ranger, Ranger Danger. Ranger Danger. Just looking at him, you know he's got a lot of stories. Uh -huh. A lot of danger. <laughs> in that. This is Kind of Funny Games cast each and every week right here on YouTube.com slash Kind of Funny Games. We get together and talk about all of the beautiful things we love about video games. I've been doing games daily so much that I, I have the Switching the, the games is tough. All switched up in my head. Um, talking about video games is fun, and that's exactly what we're going to do on this show. You can watch it on YouTube.com slash Kind of Funny Games, or you can listen to it on podcast services around the globe, uh, including iTunes, now known as Apple Podcasts, mm. or Stitcher, or any of those other Wait, things. Beyond Pod is one of those things. iTunes itself is Apple no, Podcasts? No, but the okay. podcast on iTunes is now just Apple Podcasts. Got it, got it. It's, it's confusing. Mm -hmm. uh, you can go there and subscribe and like and you know rate us, review us on do stuff. It, it definitely helps, and it's very cool. And yeah, if you want to get the show early you can because it comes out late to everybody on Mondays at 9 a.m. But you can get it early on that Friday before by going to patreon.com slash kind of funny games. There's a pre-show available. It's a whole good time. You we can get it so early. Minutes. You could be watching us right, right now, now as we live record it live. For just one dollar. Just one dollar. If anything goes wrong, <clears> that's what <throat> I was thinking about. Mm -hmm. Cable snaps out of the sky, right? Something breaks, comes in, whips your fucking, fucking face, tears right it up, right? You're gonna see that. Shit. That's what we can promise you. We'd probably end up editing it. I have said, and I'll say it now on the record as well, if I ever die or have a heart attack or whatever, and then I slip into a coma. But during a show, you post the whole show. Absolutely. Yes. Okay, so make sure Absolutely. Yeah. And well, I know someone, someone will put well. up an article. Because it's what someone you will put want. up a think piece that, oh, why did they leave this in? It's just for views. And you're goddamn right it is. And With me dead and in a coma, somebody's somebody got to pay those out. We need this to put uh, before. Just put a time during code on and it, yeah. after in the video. We'll edit it in multiple times so yep. it's clear yep. at any moment. Also, and if I in. ever slip into a coma, you have my for full permission. You have to deal with my wife on this one. Yeah. My for full permission to live stream me lying there the entire time. Fuck yeah. Okay. And then people are like, is he, is he waking up now? Is it about to happen? No, oh, still, no, still, no coma. still there, still there. What else are we allowed to do when you're in the coma? No. Can we come and buzz you? <laughs> you stay away from me, milkman. <laughs> Ew. For science, um, not sexual. <laughs> oh my god! Shout out to Patreon producer Tom Bach for, the homie. for being being the homie. I actually want to start off by talking about him. Hell yeah! Uh, because Kev, you've been playing. You've been playing with his heart. I'm playing with his heart. You've been playing games with this one. Yeah, I've been say. playing the PUBG with him. Mm -hmm. You, him you jumped one. to the wrong part of the song lyric. I like that. Mm. Quit playing games with All right, my we're done with that. Uh, him and uh, Snow Mike Mike, who both are fantastic to play with. Mm -hmm. And but I've been enjoy enjoying the shit out of that. Now, Holy you say that. Fuck. You oh, say that they've gee. been fantastic to play with. Yeah. But you've also told me off mic that they just take it a bit more seriously than you do. Tom Bach wants a chicken dinner. Uh -huh. he How many has he gotten? He mentioned yesterday that he's probably paid like 500 games. Not a single goddamn oh, God one. Damn it, Tom Not a single goddamn one. Sure. And I got to tell you, it's because he's bullish. He doesn't just hide mm. like some cowards would. Hey, man, I got two. Are you sure. talking shit about Mike? <laughs> what? No, no. no. Snowbike Mike. Mm. Snowbike Mike. <coughs> his goal in the game is to do as many backflips as possible on a motorcycle. <laughs> And I love it because every once in a while he'll like disappear and come back with a motorcycle and be like, Kevin, watch, Kevin, watch. <laughs> it sounds I like haven't the seen, dream team. Tom Boss, Mr. 
I, I'm going in. I want I want that chicken dinner. 500 games. Haven't got one. Mr. I do backflips and Kevin Coelho. So here's the thing. I do feel bad because I'm definitely slowing down their game. Sure. Because I'm not, I'm not great at this. And I am also a little too bullish where we'll see a car drive by and everyone's like, hey, get down. Not me. I get that fucking gun out and I start shooting. And you play on an Xbox? Uh, yeah. The 1S. And so, you're still having a good time with that? Yeah, I'm having a great time. I mean, it's... I, I Has can't, it improved since we started? Because I haven't played in a few weeks. I, not noticeably. Not yeah. in any way that would matter. I did switch the controls to, like, the B option. Okay. And that makes it a lot better. So when you hit the right trigger, it goes directly to first person. Oh. Instead of double clicking. Oh. Yeah. That's interesting. Okay. I like that. Yeah. I like that. So it was a fun uh, Tom Bach tip. But Tom Bach Tom is Bach also, you were mm-hmm. telling me, very serious about this. He's like, hey, I got two bogeys. Hey, yeah, do this. Yeah, yeah. Let's breach. And like, you're I'm just getting like, clapped. And it's like, fuck, what does that mean? <laughs> He's yeah. getting shot. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. I figured. Yeah, cool yeah, Greg, yeah. I thought, would know that one. Yeah. No, it seems like. Oh, yeah. Cool Greg, not. Yeah. 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 And he's like, go left. Like, he's he's very much strategizing as we're playing. Sure. You know? And you're just running And I'm shooting. sitting there being like, oh, fuck. <laughs> I don't know. I'm going to just go get this. And they're like, you're out in the open. Get down. And it's like, what, what, do, what do you guys. Dead. Dead. Yeah. Dead. We Dead. gotta get him hooked up with Alfredo. I feel like they could have fun together. He plays like that. Yeah, but he plays on PC because he's PC Master Race. He, he does everything, but he is Master Race. Yes. Yeah. 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 Uh, but then also you guys have been playing Monster Hunter World a lot more of it. That's the reason you're on the show now is because you guys can have your little... Your well, little I, want, yeah, I, wanna, I want updates from Big Dog mm-hmm. Kev Coelho. Because, mm-hmm. of course, I had to go to Long Beach to see my stupid Sucks. friend Poe. Mm-hmm. You go didn't to, have to do that. Then I had to go to Dallas to do a job so we can have more money. Keep. I'm assuming you didn't have to do that one either. I'm way behind on Monster Hunter. Mm. Embarrassingly so. What rank are you right now, Kevin? Uh, I'm not too high up there. I think I'm rank seven. Okay. Okay. Yeah. You got the Horizon content. I, I got wanted. the Horizon content. I, I did won't that be able last to do week. It. I, somebody tweeted me after Kind of Funny Games Daily saying it expires UTC time. I don't know what the hell that means. But it's like maybe Japan time. I don't know. But it's like expiring no, as we speak right now. So I'm oh, fucked. Oh, man. I'll never sucks. get my little Horizon kitty that I want. Whose fault was that? Again, my stupid friends and my stupid jobs. Absolutely not. You um, could have easily given someone your login and had them play and just do it for you. That's a great point. Snow Mike Mike would probably do it right now if you text How him. many hours is, is Snow Mike Mike playing? Snow Mike Mike is like, I can't remember what rank level he is, but really high up there. He's been playing like crazy. Where these kids get all this time? How are you? I don't know, man. I don't know. How many hours in are you? 26 last time Holy I saw the counter. Holy fucking shit. That's yeah. awesome. I'm so I really jealous. like it. I really enjoy it. How f- much further in, uh, than me in the story are you then now? Only like three or four missions. Okay, okay. I've been doing a lot of expeditions, Options. and I gotta tell you, man, it's really frustrating doing these expeditions, hunting these monsters, and like them running away because they've so many of them, so many of them have run away. Sure, sure. Yeah. How do you feel? Do you when we last left off, mm-hmm. you were I had played you know years ago, obviously on uh, on the PSP, Rested Soul, and I was getting my sea legs back. Are you super confident in your hammer skills? Do you feel like you know how to trap oh, things? I, no, I'm I'm fe- feeling fairly confident in. Um, my weapon skills, specifically the hammer. Yeah. I'm very close to getting that like top ranked hammer sure. with the fire. You need another fire thing. Yeah, I need one more fl- flame. That's what sack. I was looking at last night is like, you know, yeah. I have a whole bunch of uh, materials built up and I have mm. uh, the same thing where I, my, my final, you know, form for the, my double blades are locked mm. and I was looking at it and I still have like the, mi- oh, wh- who knows what this creature is that you need. And I'm like, yeah, oh, fuck, that's, yeah, I'm going to yeah. need the fire thing that you need. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, but as far as using traps, okay. I've used traps. I don't understand how to use them correctly to mm. trap a monster. Sure. But I, I'm sure at some point I'm going to do a story mission that's going to be like, walk me through it. Sure. So when I'm going to start flashing at it down B. Couple shut times. up. You shut up. You can play yeah. your baby games. Oh, yeah. How's that Crash Bandicoot Platinum coming? You know remember, what I mean? Remember I it's down B'd you with uh, what's his face? That was good. That moment you were like shocked. Anyways. In a party mode coming up, he was shirtless Shulk. He countered me and it missed. That's pretty great. <laughs> Yeah, the it didn't do the attack, but well, the counter hit, but I was going up, so he missed me. That's that's the story. I don't think he swung. I don't think he swung. So now that you're 26 hours in, yeah. Do you you, you before you, you kept saying, oh, it's a fad. This is a fad. Is this oh, a, fad? a fad? Yeah, yeah. it's a fad. You don't think we'll stick with this for a while? No, I don't think so. How much longer we got in this? Um, keeping in mind that we're throwing a Monster Hunter dinner party tonight. Yeah, where you're coming over, Grimecraft. Oh yeah, no, over. no, fads. Grimecraft of all people. An insane person when it comes to this game. Yeah. Sure. His character looking like Shovel Knight. Looks yeah. great, His man. hero level is like 240. Yeah. No, I think it's 44. 44. Still really man. good. Yeah, still, still really good. great. Amazing. Yeah. I can't even imagine. The Again, power. how, how yeah. do these people have this much time? That's my question. Doesn't matter. Mm-hmm. I digress. Mm-hmm. Well, how much longer do you think we're playing this thing? I mean, that all depends. <clears throat> I'd say three weekends. Three more three weekends? More weekends yeah. yeah. You think we come back to it? Or is it just once we're gone, we're gone? 
Well, I think once we hit a certain point, yeah. Because isn't there going to be cool DLC and stuff? That's the thing. Once we hit a certain point, and I'm excited because this has never happened before. I've never played a game that, like, you can be like, all right, I've done everything. I guess I'm done with this. And then DLC comes around, and then... We're just the kind of people that would like. We're gonna hype each other up when it comes sure, around. Right, it's yeah. like, whoa, yeah, it's yeah. back! It's back! Right. You hunt know, the monsters. Yeah, yeah. Gotta so I, I definitely think when DLC comes, we're gonna get stoked and we're gonna go for it. Are you still mm. seeing? Like you're, you're only a few story missions ahead of me. Uh huh. Are you seeing new monsters consistently still, or are we still just? Seeing oh yeah, the same? yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I've been <laughs> opening. What area are you in? The newest one's the desert one for you? Yeah, this is the one we left off at, right? Yeah, Smaller yeah, 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 desert. Yeah, yeah, there's yeah, yeah. a the water section you go to, and they have all the giant right, carp. Right, right, right. There. You're gonna, there's another area in, like very soon. Okay. Like maybe the next mission or the Do mission you after that. feel confident in how to go through not the side quest, like here's an optional thing, but like last night was the first night I've played alone. You, uh-huh. you ignored my text. I we played. I was playing with Snowbike Mike. I had to go. You were playing PUBG. I came back yeah. on. I didn't see your text for an hour. Like, it it's took fine. me an hour, and I saw it. I responded. You're like, oh, not I'm, knowing, on yeah. I'm like, I'm ready for yeah, bed now. You're out. And it's like, but it was the first time I w- ran around and was solo stuff. Uh-huh. And like, going Did you complete in. the mission? Did you kill the T-Rex? No, because what I, my thought process was, I'm going to go. I'm clearly not. We're getting our you ass get handed. Stronger. Let's grind a yeah, bit. Yeah, Let's yeah. see. And I, I still don't personally understand right now the, the how to get my monster hunting rank up. It seems like it so only I happens to in story missions? That's exactly right. That's okay. what he says. Okay. Only happens in story, so only do story. And it's a bad idea to grind now and get better uh, gear. Well, it was more like after I- 11, after rank 11, you're mm-hmm. going to... It won't matter anymore. Everyone just keeps very quickly saying that you get new what gear happens? that's cooler. Oh, okay, okay. And that like even like the basic of the new gear is stronger than anything you're going to have. Oh sure, yeah. and I don't mean grind. I don't mean grind on that sense as much as like, hey, like when we were trying to make traps, I'm like, fuck, I don't have spider webs to make nets to make sure. the traps. So I'm sure, gonna go sure, do sure. that shit. But it was also more the thing of the botanist and the. They all have their little missions and, and stuff. And I was like, well, I don't. Know, I'm just grabbing these things, not fucking yeah, yeah, really yeah. seeing. So like, I you know, I ran off and I was doing one of the optional ones to go kill however many fucking other carp fish. Yeah. And then it was like, oh, I knocked out to collect the honeys, the you know, the amount of right. honey I need. And I was like starting to wrap my head around all of that crap. And then also. Get into the minutia of seeing, oh, when all the missions are green, they're in this area. When they're brown, they're in the new area I just unlocked. Shit like that. Mm-hmm. I was like, oh, okay. Just trying mm-hmm. to get my sea legs to it. Yeah. Because it was a big deal yesterday, which I immediately fucked up. But uh, before I texted you, you didn't immediately respond this earlier in the evening. I'm so sorry. That's fine. I was, so I was driving. Like, oh, you know what I'll do is I'll make the world open to everybody so everybody can just find it. Right, we right, have, right, we have a, a best friend world, even if I'm going to just go do my own stuff. And so having everybody jump <laughs> in, like, I'm, I'm still, I'm st- obviously so fresh. I'm, 12 hours I think my clock said last night like I'm still so fresh that I'm still doing a whole bunch of new stuff as I assume you are too mm-hmm. but it's like exploring those little the little minutia of right, this right, game right. that like I when you and I realize- are doing it we're just running around ignoring everything yeah uh, the other day yesterday when we were playing I was at the smitty yeah getting some stuff smithed. that's a blacksmith blacksmith smitty yeah we call him smitty well, he's actually a we used white to call guy I don't know our friend that's not, <laughs> that's not <laughs> I called my friend uh, Vince smitty what was the thing? But I turned around. I was like, "Oh shit!" There's like an armory lady. Yeah. So there's still things that I'm like. Well, I knew that. I mean, I, well, no, I, mean, I know, but I didn't. I, I, I guess I didn't see that. Okay. okay I would always okay. turn to the right. My right? next question: to the right. Are you super committed to your weapon, or are you trying other weapons? I've tried several other weapons. Okay. Okay. Uh, but you keep I don't back respect any of them. Cool. Even a little bit. Because that was my thing last yeah. night when I was like, that maybe I'll take. Good. I've heard rumors through the Twitterverse from people who hear us talk about monsters here and mm. there or whatever, mm. that the monsters should actually be easier if you go in it alone, right? That they won't do as much. And I've, I've seen that when we've fought things together that I've seen before alone, where it's, it's like, like oh, Cuphead. shit. Yeah, sure. It's like Cuphead. And co-op and bosses. You're okay. playing co-op, they have more life and stuff. Gotcha, gotcha. Oh, gotcha. really? Mm-hmm. So my mm-hmm. thought process was I went sense. and looked at some different weapons to see if I could get one with a better base damage sure. that I could then go upgrade at the smitty. Like the hammer. Yeah, I saw the hammer, but I, was, I didn't want to do base. it. So I tried out the bow and arrow. Yeah. I was like, oh, I did that. I upgraded uh, the bow. Like your wife. Yeah, exactly. Well, you know, come on. Jen played like an hour of it. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, I was like, yeah. She okay. hated it immediately. Yeah. And you were like, try it. Just like it better. <laughs> We'll, like see like it we'll, we'll see if we can get her tonight. We'll see if we can get her tonight. She had no interest. We don't even play PS4s. No, that's right. Yeah, we yeah. Well, maybe Grimes bringing his. You don't know. Grimes crazy. No, I know. There's no way Grimes bringing his. All right, 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 right. I would really like if he pulled it out as an all Chrome PS4. I would like. I'd be so it. impressed by that. Sure. Wings on it. Sure, <laughs> sure. Um, but yeah, I, sure, I, I started kicking tires and other weapons last time. I'm like, no, nah, I'm going to stick with what I know. I'm sure so that there's like the bow because the no. bow looked like it was coming with a good. But attack. it's the same thing of like. 
it's not doing even when I'm locked on to an, a, a guy like uh-huh. it's not like lock on in Zelda yeah. where I'm then firing at that person sure. no matter what right? I'm, so I'm locked on and then I'm like firing at the camera I'm like fucking yeah. shit you know what I mean mm-hmm. like I gotta go over there and do that I, I didn't feel good about mm-hmm. that because I just want to and it's, I love my weapons I just want to do more you're damage you're gonna keep the double blade I've, yeah that's what I played yeah. on PSP huh? you know what I mean like I love that weapon I just want to really lay people out we'll get some tips from Grimey tonight we'll be, mm-hmm. we'll be sitting pretty we pros yeah we got an update next week. No, I guess not next week. We got some fun things next week for Gamescast. We do? Can't announce them yet. Do we? Yeah, we do. Cool. No idea what he's talking about. Next week's going to be really special. I'm going to look at the calendar. You'll hear about that on hopefully Monday. Um, is, that it, is that it for Monster Hunter? Uh, I could talk all day. I just want to play it's more so of it. Good. It yeah. sucks. It's, it's, it's we're it's still at the point with this game where this, the obsession of fuck everything else in life. I only want to do this. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Where it's I, like we're sitting around, we love our job, everything amazing, love the best friends. Fuck all of you. you I don't want to do that. I, I wish this. Sh- I wish that I was independent. No one ever has thought this. I wish I was independently wealthy mm-hmm. and you could just play this game all day. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like that seems like a good I bet you'd waste gig. it. I bet you wouldn't be playing the game. You'd be doing other stuff. Okay. Ooh, I well. bought a boat. Let's go boating. And I'd be like, of course. <laughs> of course. That makes sense. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I did not play the most. Oh. Oh. Um, I've been playing uh, other games. I played some fighting games. What'd you put? <laughs> that, that, those words, they were like looking in French to Kevin. He's like, I have no idea what that no means. No idea what that means. Um, I played a couple fighting games. Kevin and I tried to play Dragon Ball Fighters. Man, on, was that an unfortunate hour of trying to figure out yeah, what was wrong a lot with of our tech audio problems. setup. We were trying to do the party mode we talked about earlier that's going to be Smash Brothers. It was supposed to be Dragon Ball Fighters, mm-hmm. uh, but the game gave us a lot of issues. Now, first thing. Is this an unreleased game? No. Fighters? Fighters, came Fighters out. Z. Oh, Dragon Ball <laughs> Fighter Z. Of course. Yeah. I can't tell if this is a bit yeah. names. <laughs> stupid names for video games. It's Fighters. I don't know why. Then why capitalize the Z like that? Because Dragon Ball Z. All right. That's a pretty good point. But, it's, uh, but they're not using it that way. Also true. It was. It's the '90s, man. It's a different time. It is not the '90s. It, it is currently. It is currently 1999. Man, that fucking game looks incredible. So that's the like, thing. I know we've talked about it before, but holy it's shit! It's insane how good insane. that game looks. Yeah. It's unfair. Yeah. That game looks when any time in your life that you've ever played a video game and been been like, many times. wow, this looks like. That basketball game looks like a real basketball game. This looks like a cartoon. That looks like a Pixar movie. No, <laughs> fuck that. Dragon Ball Fighters looks like Dragon Ball. It okay. looks like it. It looks exactly like it. It's unfair that you can control a game and it looks that good. It's fucking cool, man. I, I can't believe it. Having said that, I'm really upset there's so many technical issues for us going what into What was it. wrong? Did you, uh, you're getting that peaking audio? That hurts so bad. Uh, there was knee. a lot of audio issues where like channels of audio just simply weren't playing, okay. which really ruined the experience. Yeah, of course. Yeah, that'll do it. We're, we're playing through the game, and it's like you see them, and, and the sound effects of Dragon Ball are, are so important. Mm-hmm. They uh, yell a lot of shit. A lot of yelling. Goku! A lot of, like, yeah, That's it. Yeah. A, lot, a lot of uh, you know charging up, a lot of like random lasery sounding shots right, and, and right. things like that. None of that was None being right. uh, heard by us. So it's like, oh, okay, okay, this this sucks. Mm-hmm. We can't. It's thank, thank God you know? we were like, hey, let's play this game a little bit before we And uh, so then we started messing around. The game, fun as hell. Yeah. Fun as fucking hell. Horrible at fighting games. Too many but buttons. It's still fun. This game dumbs it down a lot, using a lot of the quarter circle things you're familiar with from, from Street Fighter. I've read about Light, them in medium, books. heavy punches. Special moves, really understandable. Like Metal, uh, not Metal Gear Solid, uh, Marvel vs. Capcom, where the switching in with your three member teams, chaos ensues. It's a good time. Whether or not you're good at it, bad at it, doesn't matter. It's fun. And mm-hmm. I'm like, I want to get back to that. I want to play more of that. If that hopefully at home, we I won't have, have those audio it. problems and all that I stuff. I don't think you will. I right? will say, from the, the one time we booted it up there, um, the initial setting up of that game is one of my least favorite things about video games. Oh, it was going to make the party mode. And it probably still will. What? I, what? It is ridiculous absurd. how many uh, terms of service you need to go through uh. with a controller. Where you go down, you uh, you have to read the entire thing, or at scroll least scroll, scroll, scroll yeah, the entire yeah, yeah, thing yeah, yeah, before yeah. you hit next. But there's no way to fast forward it. It's, right. it's the fast forward is still way too slow. And going through, it, I'm like, <laughs> oh my god! Then it has to connect you to the internet, and then it has to connect you to a uh, um, a server. Then it has to connect you to. It's like, what's your time zone? And the time zones are insane, Greg. They're fucking insane. It like it breaks it down into like uh, east. East uh, Central or West of America, and that still or breaks down East further. East Central of or West of Canada, whatever you go through that, but then it's like East One, East Two, East Three. I'm like, I don't know. What does that yeah, even mean? What does mean? that mean? 
Who knows what East I don't know. 1 is? Are so, we West 1 who knows? or West 2? Who cares? Just select it. What big fucking deal. So you start doing this. And it's then like it's when like, you go, how old are you? How old can I be? Yeah, I was born in 1898. That's <laughs> now, Let me fucking see the Just Cause trailer. Now, you're making a lot of sense there. I get what you're saying. But then it matters because you're being put into servers based on where you are. Sure. So, so you could be can, sleeping that, groggy, sleepy people. But then the problem is, and again... <laughs> this is just based on our weird experience with this. We get into it, and there's no not like a traditional menu of let's just go to local play and and do a quick match. There no. are instead four stages. There's a world hub. Yeah. Th this little chibi Dragon Ball guy is running around, and you have to find where local local multiplayer is. There's hella characters that all look exactly the same with dif different names over them. I'm like, this is such a weird way weird to set this game up, and it seems way, yeah. very obtuse to get yeah. to the most basic things of a. Of a fighting game, especially people? because in addition to the terms of service and all this online stuff, uh, it, the cutscene was unskippable the, with the first time you watch it. And it's a cool-ass cutscene. Not cut short, though. But it's not short. Not short at all. <laughs> okay. So all that stuff, very weird uh, to be in your first experience of this type of fighting game. But then once you get through, it was awesome. The game was fun. Can't wait to get back to it. People love it. I see, yep. you know, Xavier is always tweeting about it and doing stuff with it. And a whole bunch of other people, when it first came out, were all over it. And I love seeing that it's Dragon Ball fans are loving it. Fighting game communities loving it. And there's a lot of people that are tangentially related to either of those or tangentially related to just one side that are getting in. Like I was telling the story on a Games Daily yesterday, I guess, yeah, with Gary yeah. Wooda. That like de seeing, seeing Dan Riker go in and be like, yo, I like he screen capped him buying a bunch of Dragon Ball Z Blu-rays. Yeah, yeah. Just based off him playing this game. That's awesome. Like, Bandai Namco knocked this out of the park. They did it right. Mm -hmm. You know, they made people care about an IP uh, that didn't before because sure. the game was good. That's fucking huge. Um, very cool. A lot of weird, unnecessary stuff that I, I kind of just wish wasn't there. Uh, which reminds me of another game that I played. Dissidia Final Fantasy NT. <sighs> another fighting game. Another three-on-three -three fighting game. This one's 3D. I love Final Fantasy. I love the lineage I've of Final Fantasy. I love a lot of Final Fantasy characters. Eleven's your favorite, right? Uh, Eleven is not my favorite, but yeah, uh, it's a good call. Guys. Um, and I remember when they first announced Dissidia on the PSP, the first one. I was very excited Dissidio for it. Dissidio Duo Kakum. No, that was the second one. Um, just simply Dissidia, Final Fantasy. And I was stoked for it because I love Smash Brothers, as many of you know. And I love the idea of, oh, it's just kind of this Worlds Collide thing. I love Marvel vs. Capcom for that reason. Uh, so all the Final Fantasy ca characters together in... There we go. Yeah. In uh, in, in more HD than we've seen most of them, or at least not HD is not the word, but like in in uh, like seeing Terra in 3D was awesome, and seeing all these different characters interact was very very cool. And uh, then I played it, and I'm like, oh, this isn't for me, especially on the PSP. There's a lot of claw going on. A lot and of I claw. Was not, I was not feeling that at all. But played through the story because it's dumb. No reason for them to all be fighting together, but they are, and it's like cool. Cutscenes are fun. The music's fun. It's a celebration of Final Fantasy. Then the sequel came out. Gameplay much better. Um, but still, it was like at that point, it was kind of near the end of the PSP's life cycle. And uh, Ryan Clements loved that oh, one. Oh, Clements I, was all I, I about think. it. Yeah. But you know how this is. You all seem all about it because you're talking about it for 15 fucking years. Because mm -hmm. these games never come out. They never. always get announced and then limp on and limp on and limp on. Even Dissidia? I don't remember. Dissidia duo. Doesn't matter. Final Cockum. Fantasy. Yeah. You but still no, win for that other Clements one, right? It. That's not always true. It's only true for a select few of those games. Whatever. Um, but this new one, this started as an arcade game a couple years ago. There's rumors of it being ported over to Wii U. That didn't happen. And then recently it was like, oh, we're coming to PS4 as Dissidia Final Fantasy NT. And uh, I started Solid playing. Name. I put about, I'd say, maybe two hours into it. And it had the same problem Dragon Ball Z did of just let me get to the game. This one was a little bit more obtrusive, though, where in order to play the story mode, you need to use these like orbs and collect orbs to unlock the next stage of it or whatever. I played, and to get the orbs, you need to go into other game modes. Like, tutorial gives you orbs, and this gives, everything gives you orbs, but mm. like, I'm like, I just want to play the story mode. Like, that's the point of me, but don't you want of orbs? me, me doing this. I don't give a fuck about the orbs, right? Well, he needs the orbs. And yeah, so you, you get a couple orbs in the beginning. I use my orbs to start the story mode. You had to use the orbs for this first story cutscene. So I did that, got through. Then I didn't have enough orbs to do the first actual gameplay. So I'm sitting there, it's been 15 minutes, I haven't even touched the game yet. And I'm like, Damn, this is not, not good. okay. No, this is not, not okay at all. Uh, so then I went in, did some tutorials and some stuff, and it's like it's very different than the PSP games. It's similar style, but uh, because it's based off the arcade game, it's a, a little bit faster and uh, trying to be more modernized for like a, a dual shock with the triggers and everything. Because PSP again, right, weird cloth thing sure, going sure, on, sure. and with um, the second stick, and. Uh, 
it it's very convoluted. There's a lot going on. I have no idea um, what all the hypers and everything does and all that stuff. I had fun with it. You know, it's still fun to see the characters kind of smashing into each other and just the kind of but like... But even after interacting with these orbs and having to like grind to get orbs so that you can do more basic stuff? I'm never touching it again. Oh, oh okay. Got yeah, it. yeah, yeah, yeah. I had fun with it for the time I played, but then I turned it off and I'm like, yeah, no. It's cool hearing the characters again, you know, and seeing them. All that stuff's fun and dandy, but it's like, God, this game fun should dandy. be better. It should be better. And a lot of this weird ass, like, very... Uh, Japanese driven decisions. I'm like, what are you doing? Like, who's the audience for this? People you love know? orbs. It's <laughs> true. You're right. Crackdown, put orbs, orbs on the map. Orbs. I don't know what the fuck. Crackdown, put orbs on the map. Yeah, I don't know. I was. So then I you're was, back to Celeste. Then I was back to Celeste. And yeah. I, I've been playing that a lot. The B sides are kicking my ass. This sure. one I'm just totally stuck on. Uh, but yeah, it's like I thought I was done with Celeste and I can't stop playing. It wasn't done with you. I, it was not done with me. I'm going back and like when I first did my playthrough, I was like, fuck the strawberries. Like, I'll give them one shot, and if I can't get it, I'm moving on. Sure. Um, so so I, I, I beat the game with a, with a shockingly low amount of berries. Like, I want to say... Like, shockingly low. Like 20. Oh, wow. Okay. Which, like, I think the game has, like, 150 total. You know, that's... A, I don't even... I don't know. I'm talking to my ass. There's a lot of them, and I only got 20. <laughs> um, so I went back, and my total is a lot higher now. I, sure. I've been playing through the levels and, like, redoing them. I... This game is just too good. Mm -hmm. Like mm -hmm. anything I want it to do, it's the opposite of what we just talked about with Dragon Ball and Final Fantasy. The menus make total sense, and it, it is so user friendly that it wants you to get what you want to get done done. Yeah, I'm like, oh man, I want to do this strawberries again, but fuck, am I gonna have to beat every chapter again? No, you go to the chapter, and it's essentially like chapter select within the chapter, where you can go to different areas of the level. Just get those strawberries. The moment you get the strawberries, you can just save and quit. Oh, you got nice. the strawberries. That's really cool. I didn't know that. It's so user friendly. It's mm. so not like the typical bullshit of like, we're going to pad the game and make you mm. replay shit to get all the collectibles. Nope. And I love it. And I'm having such a good time with it. Um, but yeah, and again, Dragon Ball Fighters, I want to get back to you. Dissidia, do not want to get back to Celeste. I'll never let you go. And I love you so much. And uh, someone wrote into Games Daily today. And they call out something interesting about Celeste on PlayStation 4. Ooh. That is that assist mode doesn't disable trophies. Mm. So you can go platinum this guy if you wanted to. That could be your first platinum. Wow. You know what I mean? Like a cheap motherfucker? Maybe yeah. you'd stop being Hell. a coward and hiding you your platinum? trophies. Never. No, 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 no. I'm playing on Switch and I love it, but I'm not going to want to go back. Because even uh, like my skill set, I would have to sit there and then bring the game speed down and then be playing forever. I got monsters to hunt. Sure. You know yeah, I mean? no, I get that. I, even, I haven't even played it, a lot with, around with assist mode myself. Like, oh, I, yeah. well, I haven't turned options. it on. I've just looked at the options and, yeah. and read people's it reports on stuff. But what no, are you going to get on Celeste, Kev? I don't know, man. You're going to like it. No, I know, but it's you, just, I have so is, many things right now. What are you playing over there when you're supposed to be working? Great Nothing. point. Nothing. Now you're playing that one game, uh, One More Jump, right? Super One More Jump or whatever? <sighs> I have uh, not, not over there, but yeah, I was playing that. What? <laughs> So what in the other room? You came in once and showed no, it to me. No, like, no, no, no. Hmm. I, I think I specifically like brought it up to show you because okay. I was enjoying it. Um, but now, I, yeah, I haven't played my Switch in a little while. Uh, but I really want to play Celeste. But I say you get Celeste, and I'll give you who's got the one, time. One time who's of us time? doing a show, only one, one because otherwise it's going to be really distracting of you playing over there. Because or else every podcast is no, just. going to be... I can't. I got to take notes. Fuck. Fuck! I got it. like the Shit. game. The game has changed. Can we take like, notes on this? Yes, he's oh, taking yeah. notes right, there. notes right there. Cool, Greg. Oh, write this down. What do the notes down. say? What do the notes say? I got uh, PUBG. Got Monster Hunter. Just times. Okay, I, I, know, I, I didn't realize yeah, we had time, time codes for this show. Oh mm -hmm. yeah, we do them for all. Everybody, well, the other shows where it's like everybody like, want a time code. The other shows have. I Who cares that it makes my Thursdays even longer? Not you. you until you beat Celeste. No Not one you. Not you, you motherfuckers. Had to play Celeste. Have you been playing any more Celeste? Because you were traveling a little bit. Yeah, I was hopping around a bunch on the thing with the both weekends. I played more on the flight, one of the flights. I'm not. Even, mm -hmm. who's, why does it matter? Okay. I played yeah. on one of the flights. I'm in the. I'm in. A, I you know I already beaten the hotel world, but I put it down. So then I jump back into the one now with the wind and all that stuff, where it's really fucking yeah. with you, and that's, that one really fucks with you. Yeah, and so I like, will say, wind levels never fun. Sure, never fucking. But like fun. at this point, like after three worlds of oh, now I'm getting my legs. Now yeah. I know what I'm doing. Like oh, okay, you're you're tweaking I it get here. It. I but get I, it. now I am at the point where you're you started. It sounds like where it's like fuck these strawberries. I just want to get through. Oh, because yeah. there was like one early on where it's like you know the wind's blowing you. You come over. You got to go grab the wall. Do this. And I was like oh well clearly I, in my head I can see how to do it. And then I was trying to do it and use the jump and I just kept getting smashed. I'm like, you know what? Don't need to. Don't nah, need to do this right now. Walk away. Yeah. yeah walk, walk away, away a winner. So what have you been playing on Switch? Uh, on the Switch, I've been playing two games. One more than the other. First one would be 
Night in the Woods. Finally. Second one would be Owlboy. Yeah. Let's start with Night in the Woods. Let's do that. Came to PlayStation 4. Everyone had told me leading up to this game, this was a game for you, Greg. It's a great game story. Really good characters. Really, you know, blah, blah, blah. I was like, great. Sat down. I remember playing on PlayStation 4. Played it one night. Enjoyed it, but it wasn't hitting the spot. So I turned it off. And I'm like, I'll come back to it when I want to come back to it. Never came back to it. Comes to Switch. I'm like, great. Now I will definitely get hit in the spot at some point. Started playing it on Switch. Got pretty much right where I left off before where you find the arm, which is early in the game. I'm not I'm not at all trying to make this out like I played a ton of Night in the Woods. And I was like, not hitting the spot right now. I'm going to take a nap. I slept on the plane. Planes put me to sleep now. It sucks. But on the, I was gearing up for the trip coming home, I think. And I was like, you know what? I feel like just getting a story. I feel like just being talked to and having, and I'm like, this is it. I'm in the, I'm I'm oh. in the mood for Night in the, wo- Night in the Woods. And I sat down and put, put on it night, night in the Woods. Played for an hour and just turned it off. And I'm like, this is just isn't a game for me. Yeah, oh, it's wow. not a mood thing at all. It just doesn't work for me. And I don't mm-hmm. I can't tell you why right now on switch. I don't like the interface. I don't like the fact that I am caught and this is me just being a stupid kid, just, uh, but I'm jumping around between games. So like, you know, uh, it's not intuitive for the way they've set up controls where it's like you walk up and this, you know, the icon pops off to talk to somebody. I'm like, oh, clearly it's the top. Nope, it wasn't that button that oh, it just opens up my fucking journal. So but, all right, it's here. Greg, just fucking remember that. Like, you know what I mean? Like, just fucking, I never can remember. I'm always yeah. opening the damn journal that and doing sucks. stuff. But it's like, I don't know if it's just too uh, placid, if that's the right word. It's just too calm where there's like, there's no voice acting. So I'm just reading everything. And it's beautiful. And like when I'm walking through the town and the world, like I like what I'm doing there and walking through everything. But then it's like you start getting into the puzzle, the puzzles and quotes of like, all right, well, how do you do this? And I, it's just like, this just isn't engaging. Mm. And, and you I, got monsters to hunt. Well, I'm, oh, I wish I'm yeah. playing. I don't. But it's like it's not engaging in terms of a gameplay level. And I was like, okay, but we talked about the story, and I get it, and I get the pangs of like you're a sophomore who's moved back. To, you quit college. You've moved back to town. But even the breadcrumbs they're giving me, and again, I didn't get super. I'm, I'm, I'm probably what hour and a half, two hours in now, and it's just like somebody's like making a comment, like, "Oh, we call you the killer kid because of what you did." And it's like, all right, like, are you gonna give me more than that? Like, I'm just not. Va- no one, no one's, dude. No one's making me be like, yeah, you really. You, wait, wait to find out what happens next. I don't give a shit why this arm's on the ground. I don't know what's going on. Like, mm. I like her. I like the char- characters, but not enough to keep doing it. And so, like, it's just another failed attempt to play this game that I just, yeah, I know everybody loves, but on. it's just not for me. So I jumped down and turned on Owlboy, mm-hmm. which mm-hmm. we've been waiting for mm-hmm. forever. Because mm-hmm. uh, we, you know, had him come by GDC in 2015. We all love the game. But when they came to PC, whenever, two years last ago, last year. year. Nobody cares, though. You know yeah, I mean? exactly. Like PC, you know, you know. People cared. People Bill cared Gates, a lot no, when Bill Gates, Gates was like, wow. these guys. I know, you didn't people, touch it. I didn't touch no, it either. I heard it was so good. Bill Gates closed Excel. I did. I bought it. I bought it on PC last year. Played it for less time than I even played this time, okay, but I did yeah. buy it. So we haven't had this one for a long time. Mm-hmm. Uh, the review embargo lifts on Monday, so this will be fine for everybody else. But if you're watching on Patreon or there, we've talked to them ahead of time of like, this isn't a review by any means. Uh, I like it a lot. It's you and I had a conversation because you jumped in before me and you're like, basically, like, oh, man, it's hard. It's jarring to go from Celeste to this. Totally. And I was like, oh, interesting. And I got into it and I've been playing again, maybe an hour of it on the plane or whatever. And I'm like, I'm I'm totally in. I like really? this a lot. I, lo- I love the art style. Awesome. I like the characters I have so far. I like the story. I like the gameplay of like, you know, so far the big thing mm-hmm. is like picking up your friend and then using him to shoot in 360. I was like, I didn't expect that. I didn't outside. I don't even remember what they showed us at GDC that year. I don't I think, think you should. were part of it. That's why yeah, they, they yeah. showed us that exactly, I played it. Yeah. I, well, yeah, it was yeah. it was a fun part of that that, the, that we did at GDC. Yeah, where I was playing. I think it was with Nick. Gotcha. Do you remember what we were playing <sighs> on then? Was it computer with a oh, controller? PC, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Okay. Controller. Xbox okay. controller. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, I mean, I want to get back to it. I want yeah. to play more of it. You know what I mean? It's, it's right now. I think it'll be it and Celeste vending for or vying for Switch time. But I like, I like the juxtaposition. I like that they're different games. I like that I get in here and I'm this mute owl and everybody's talking to me in town and I'm just collecting coins mm-hmm. to spend later on and like going through and figuring out puzzles. And I think it's pretty ingenious early on how it's like, you know, okay, cool. Like I pick up my friend and we're running around and we're shooting everything and I get the hang of that. And it's like, all right, put him down. And now you're forced to go somewhere without him. And how are you going to engage those enemies? And then also later on, I, you know, I got to a dead end. I had this giant weight and I was like, what? Oh, went back, yep. drop the weight, get mm-hmm. him. And it's like, 
not Metroidvania at least yet, but it is Metroidvania, and like uh-huh. it makes me rethink and backtrack. It's in a way puzzle that environments, yeah. and, and as you go, but there is a lot of action elements. Yeah, yeah. I put about between one and two hours into okay. it. And, uh, you know, I played it before at GDC. I played a little bit before when I bought it on, on Steam. But I was like, one day it's going to come to the Switch and, and I want to play it there. Sure. And it's weird to me because every single piece of this game is so up my alley. Whether it's the yeah. visuals, style. whether it's the style of the game. The music of the game is awesome. Yeah. I love that it's, it isn't always like 8-bit chip tunes. There's also these like sweeping orchestral sounding things that like make the game feel different because when it looks one way and sounds another, it makes it feel way more grand and epic. Sure. Uh, and that's so cool and awesome. And, and I feel like I wish that more games did that. Um, I love the character designs. I love him being mute. Um, I love the, the, I mean, the animations are gorgeous. The world is great. The gameplay mechanics, uh, at least so far of what I played, super cool. Each one of those pieces I love together, oh man, this game's just not for me. And that sucks because yeah. I wanted it to be so bad. And a lot of that is that I have, I've been playing a lot of twitchy, like, you know, reaction, Instant gratification, yeah. So this is, I'm like, oh, it's a little too slow. Like I mm. constantly feel like I want to hit fast forward. And it's like, what's happening is really cool. And I do feel like it is a me thing. I'm just not, oh, yeah. not being in the right place. But I also think it's kind of like Night in the Woods where if I were to come back to it later, it's going to be still, the same story. I still don't think it's going to be for me. And the reason is I've always been more of a Mario 64 guy as opposed to a Banjo-Kazooie guy. I'm more about the the platforming. I'm more about the like <laughs> light collectathon, not this whole let's explore every ounce of everything. And this game definitely feels m- slower paced, exploration and um, Metroidvania light. But like I I I prefer Metroidvanias that are more action based. That's why I like Metroid. That's why I like Ori in the Blind Forest. Axiom Verge. Uh, I never actually played. Oh Axiom really? Verge. Wow. Yeah, yeah, you but, you never played it. I gotta play it, dude. It's great. Yeah, um, but like, I, I'm sure I would love it because, yeah, yeah those types I'm, I'm more into. Sure. This, I just wish I liked. More. What I like, what I when I was playing it today, and I was thinking about like, why, why is this connecting with me and not you? And blah blah blah. And this is a weird one because it's not one for one at all. But what the best way I could describe it is, it's a shovel knight for me. If that mm. makes sense, shovel mm-hmm. knight was not my brand of kind of game, and I try. It's the same thing. I played shovel knight recognize that this is awesome and great, but it frustrated me the way it played and the way you did boss battles and just because it plays like an 8-bit game and I wasn't the biggest fan of those kind of 8-bit games. And this one has the retro vibe to it, obviously. It's got this amazing score, but I like the fact that your health bar is pretty fat. And so like as I'm learning to fight enemies, I was like, oh, okay. Like I died a couple times and then, oh, use your other one. Use your roll into that guy to kill that guy. Okay, that makes sense. And then there's pl- plentiful carrots and getting this thing. Mm-hmm. And I like that, at least in the, where I am, the gameplay is forgiving enough. And it's not, you know, punishing or not even that's not the right word, but you know what I mean? Where it's like yeah. even Celeste, where it's like, all right, you hit you once, you're dead. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. I'm making mistakes here. And the, granted, Celeste I mean, is punishing. Celeste makes you make mistakes. Shovel Knight's yeah, yeah. not punishing. Now, but, see like, that, but see, isn't it though? when I go back to Shovel Knight, when I go back to Shovel Knight, right? And like just in like what I don't like about video games and what I didn't is something about the way. Jumping in an eight-bit side scroller with a D-pad never ever felt right to me, mm. and so and I'm like Mario. Mario is obviously different, oh, okay. but going through like the boss fights in Shovel Knight frustrated me to the point of I just want to turn this off and walk away. Mm. Like I'm not enjoying myself trying to figure out what. Oh, he's coming in. Not nah, fuck. I'm dead. Or I got hit. Or whatever. I was in the same boat. Where I'm like, yeah, this is awesome. not yeah. fun for me. Yeah. And I understood. I knew that back when I had a Sega Master System that I didn't like fighting and gameplay like that. And whereas this game, I think with the ability to fly and stuff, which yeah. they're already fucking around with in cool ways, right? Where it's like, there's the one enemy on a pole or whatever that's yeah, going yeah, up yeah. and down and shooting <laughs> and like stops and shoots at you. Mm-hmm. And you got to come over and get him and stuff. Like, mm. I'm having a great time. I want, I'm going to keep playing it. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's really cool. I wonder if you'd like it. I, I think it's going to be a little too I, slow for you. I think I'd like it though. Because I I, I've played it somewhere. I don't remember... But I remember doing one of those test levels, mm-hmm. and I remember enjoying it because, like, the puzzles you have to move stuff, like sometimes the weights, right? Yeah, yeah. Like yeah. Here, and right. it's just like I love that. Yeah, yeah. So I, I'm excited to play it, but like, yeah, there's a lot of good stuff. There out is, right there now. is. I feel like out of all of them, you'd like Celeste the uh-huh. most. Yeah, Adam. you should play Celeste for sure. Uh, but uh, but that's just because it is it is punishing. But it reminds me of the things I know you like about yeah, games. Well, that, I mean, like that game we were talking about, right? Uh, the, from SMG. Uh, yeah, the, the Super One More Jump. Super one more jump, right? Yeah, yeah like that's it's it, what yeah. this is, where it's yep. like, oh, go dead, restart, do it again. Like yeah. that's what Celeste yeah. is, and that's why Shovel Knight is not that. Shovel Knight is a bit more. It is a uh, the 
you have to get through the entire level and there's right. ways really clever ways that they have the whole yeah. restart system and stuff but it doesn't with a boss it's funny because so many people always compare Shovel Knight to, to Mega Man and like Mega Man is punishingly hard and it's it's all of these things at once it's trial and error with a long game with whatever and like there's people that love that style I'm definitely not one of them yeah, because no, to me that's old school little, little game hard, design yeah. and that should stay in the old school because that's not how games yeah. should be when I look at things like Shovel Knight I feel like that to me reminds me more of Mario with more interesting boss fights um, because it's, it is so much about just the platforming and then mm-hmm. getting to the the boss and figuring out the patterns. But even the bosses are never as like meticulous as some of the Mega Man bosses. Um, and then yeah, with with Owlboy, it's just totally different. Like, I'm trying to think of something to compare it to, but um, I'm having a hard time. And I, another thing that I didn't immediately love, and I'm sure this is a uh, two more hours in, I'd be totally used to it, is the controls weren't clicking with me. Oh, really? Yeah. Like, in moments they would. The twin stick shooter aspect of it, I'm like, this is awesome. This feels right. But there's something about um, using the, I think it was the left trigger to, to grab. To grab. And, and right trigger to and, eat. And yeah, and also I was having a lot of weird graphical issues oh, really? with it. My other dude was just straight disappearing. Uh, so there'd be times I accidentally dropped him. There were I, there were review notes in there about a patch. I don't know if that got counts it, or not. Maybe, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. But I just like straight up couldn't find him because um, he was gone. I, I think, mm. And then I was just like kind of walking around where he fell, kept hitting it, and then eventually I, I picked him up and he reappeared and I was like, oh, okay. Um, but based on the original, the reviews we've seen of the Steam one, this game's awesome and I, I highly recommend trying it out if any of the things we said sound interesting to you because it is dope as fuck and it probably will be for you if you like slower... <laughs> I can't believe known issues like, in the review coming. bill. These will be addressed at launch. Your companion can become invisible when thrown in a direction. Yeah, oh. there you go. There yeah, right we there. go. Do you like, so? Are you done with it? Or are you going to give it another chance? I'm God done with Alboy. There's too much. Similar, it's it's well, similar to me, like Night in the Woods. Yeah. Right? Yeah. I, Night in the Woods, great game. You've seen. I think Marty reviewed it. Uh, people love it. You don't need me to. Uh, it's just not clicking for me, and that's fine. I'm at my point right now with the Switch where I have so many games that I'm just scrolling through where anytime I, I have some minutes to sit on my couch and play or I'm on a plane or I'm on anything going on, like, there's going to be more than enough. The, the fucking strawberries in Celeste, they're going to keep me going sure. for so long. The moons in Mario, they're going to keep me fucking going. Uh, like, how about the balls in tennis? The balls in tennis. Because I'm tell playing me, tennis right Tell there. me about tennis, Greg. Uh, you might have seen Wait, tennis. Wait, you're playing tennis? The He's one that's just called the tennis? Game yeah, yeah. That I gave a lot of shit to. Yeah, he gave a lot of shit to Why this game. Why would you give a game that clearly has not it, like the words of it, the style of it, all look like hot shots. I'm just talking about like what you see, sure, yeah, on the Visually. like the store front. But then you get into the game and you find out, woof, this is shallow as hell. This is woof. This is not hot shots tennis. You're look, telling you, me that you it's run pong, to the ball, but reskinned. You just run to the ball. You don't have to do. Oh, it. He's mad. No, it's, not, this- it's not pong. No, no. It's just it's it's a very basic tennis game that I you run around. Pong. Yeah. So it's not it that it basic. Good? No, it's not good. No, don't don't don't, don't buy tennis. It's what you'd expect from a game called tennis that looks like a knockoff hot shots of like, oh, okay, these people just wanted to get my money. I get it. And I know it's not that, terrible. I know yes, this, this actually, rant it's terrible. Yeah. This <laughs> rant is unnecessary and like I, we're just gonna repeat ourselves a million times in the future. But the Nintendo eShop needs to be better. And it needs to be better about promoting the good stuff because it, we're on that that precipice and we're still at a point. Celeste sold best on Switch. And that's important. We need to keep that that way. Yeah, that's not gonna last very long. And it's like, I, there's just that people. The everybody mine. sees that. Everybody and sees like, like oh, hey, let's put tennis, an obvious mobile game on, on this thing. Yeah, things sell really good on and Switch. The only so hope is let's that put in, everything there. The only hope is that Nintendo keeps doing its indie showcases and telling us the games to focus on. And they have been good about when you load up the Nintendo Switch, like the way that they promote yeah. stuff. They highlight and promote the quality content. Yeah, but it's like it scares me because I've seen mm-hmm. tennis. Like I saw tennis without looking for tennis. Yeah. No, you it's read bad. it. You read it. Uh, one of the names. I know, but I've, yeah. I saw tennis on my when I opened my Switch. Oh, got it. Being yeah, promoted yeah, yeah. to me, and I'm like, mm. Mm. not by Nintendo, mm. but when you just go in the eShop, it's just it's yeah. there. But isn't that Nintendo promoting it then? But no, but it's just because of where. It's, oh, where how it's ranking yeah, yeah, yeah. sales so wise. Like, mm, danger. Yeah. It's like you can't. You don't danger move your character in tennis. If that makes sense. Oh yeah. Like he just runs automatically where to the, to the little dot, and then you just hit the, you hit your button. It's a mobile game. This looks awful. Well, this is a mobile console. I'm it, mobile it is, right now, aren't I? You are. It's time to don't go buy tennis. Don't buy tennis. Can uh, go buy mobile. Tennis. Let's see. Is there any other games? I think that's it. We went through the list. Cool. You missed anything? No? No, those are the games I, I played. I just want to finish this and fucking go home and play Monster Hunter. Now it's time hit. for Reader Mail. The topic of the show today, Reader Mail. Uh, we got a really long one from Captain Frustration the Third. Mm. Any bets on whether or not he's frustrated? Uh, yeah, he's probably frustrated. He's probably I like frustrated. that he's a fellow captain. You are a milkman. <laughs> 
<laughs> hey guys, I want to talk about Shadow of the Colossus. Bit of background info, I really wanted to play it on PS2. Unfortunately, it was the kind of game that's value only increased over time, so I never got to it. You talking about fight, like monetary yeah. sure. value. Picked up the PS3 HD remaster. I couldn't tolerate playing it. Handled terribly. I didn't get too hung up on it. I thought if I played it during its heyday, I would have been used to poorer controls and enjoyed it. <laughs> it was an old PS2 game with controls that were a sign of its time. Mm -hmm. I simply accepted that fact that I wouldn't experience its greatness. Now, like a lot of people, I was incredibly excited about the remake for PS4 especially when they dangled the updated controls carrot in front of me. I took the fact it was released on my birthday to be a good omen Ooh. too. I'm equal parts disappointed and incredibly pissed. He's oh, frustrated. No. The third He's captain. The game is virtually unplayable. The controls completely infuriating the mm. quote unquote intuitive new controls. They advertised, which I don't remember seeing them advertised that way. Anyway, let me know somewhere. I don't know. I guess the comments. I'll look into it. Um, the average has amounted to no more than different button mapping, which is exactly what it is. It's as sloppy and unintuitive as it was the first time I attempted to play it during the PS3 era, complete with the mind-bogglingly stupid camera system we were all infuriated with, although admittedly used to in the early days of 3D. The game world's still fascinating and the concept of the game wonderful, but that goes out the window the second you start controlling the character. And Shadow of the Colossus on PS4 isn't billed as a remake or remaster. It's simply called Shadow of the Colossus, not Shadow of the Colossus HD or remastered, etc., like Gears of War and all those. So for a lot of gamers playing this for the first time, it'll be a new thing with the same lofty expectations they have for any other new release. There'll be no nostalgia, only frustration from the unintuitive and unresponsive controls. Can't imagine many younger people tolerating such poor game mechanics, especially when they're essentially spoiled by the modern game design. Frankly, <coughs> if this didn't have its legacy and history as a defining experience on the PS2, an era I lived through, I'd stop playing it right now. I was curious about your thoughts on the game as well as remasters of this kind. There's always that desire to bring classics into the modern world, let the new generation experience something that was special to us when we were on when we were their age. I understand the idea of giving you the option to have the original experience warts and all, but do you think if they don't bring these games up to modern standards outside of visual presentation that this can hurt the legacy of these games? How will Shadow of the Colossus be looked back 15 years from now by the current generation of gamers? I honestly don't think it's something they'll remember in the way the PS2 generation does. It's a lot in there. A lot in there, mm -hmm. right. Mm -hmm. Uh... Where do you want to begin, Tim? Where here's, do you want to, where where do you want to jump into this pot pie of Shadow Colossus questions? You were correct that even in the PS2 generation, people didn't think the controls were right. I stopped playing it. They weren't modern then. Yeah. No, I, I bought it, started it, got to the first class. I was like, oh, I do not enjoy this at all. and never played it again. Totally. Um, in terms of the, the camera situation, in my opinion, I think people are being babies about it. I think it was a big problem in the PS2 version, mainly because of the aspect ratio situation. Okay, Playing it on widescreen gives you a bit more... Uh, real estate. Real estate to play around with and all that. Field of view. Cameras are hard in video games, always, especially in 3D, <coughs> 3D games, third-person games, right? So when you're playing on a, with the giant beast and being on them, the camera's going to be hard. I feel like that is part of the gameplay as well, like the struggle of being on the beast. That could be taken as an excuse, right? But I do think that the the camera is is really not that bad, and people are just complaining about it. It's nowhere near as bad as it was in Last Guardian. That was a modern game. Um, will this game be looked back in fifteen years the same way the PS2 one was? No. My answer is yes and no. My answer is no, no in the sense that the PS2 one is going to be the classic, and Shadow Claws is going to go down as like this. Is, the new one's not going to be ever looked back on as this was a classic of the PS4 generation. Sure, because it's an old game. Is it going to be looked back on as uh, not a good game by current gamers? I don't believe that at all. I believe the people that are playing this now are going to really enjoy it. And it's $40, even if it doesn't have HD or remastered or anything like that in the name. This game is fantastic. Yeah, recently you told me that, in your opinion, this is the definitive version, Definitive right? version of this game. Yeah, I yeah, feel yeah. like this game could be... Because I've never played it. I've never played... I didn't play it when it was on PS2. I haven't played it yet, but I, am, I do intend to play it. And you said this is the version that like I should play it. Totally, yeah. that's not even a question, and I, I would be in, very interested if somebody had an argument otherwise. Mm -hmm. um, but we I have a PS2. I, can play I, I feel one. like you should definitely not play the PS2. I know. Right? I'm just kind of. Um, I feel like Shadow of the Colossus is the type of game that could be remade every ten years with just the new graphics and stuff, and it would still be just as good. Mm -hmm. um, but that doesn't mean that it controls well. It never did, and that doesn't like that's not what makes this game good. That's the argument. People tried to make for Last Guardian as well, right? Mm. But I think Stick With Me makes mm -hmm. sense more in Shadow, where, and I think I was more forgiving of it back then, even though I didn't like it. 
was the argument that the controls are the way they are so that you struggle as you climb these colossi. So there is, it isn't like Breath of the Wild where you just jump on and go and like granted there's stamina and stuff, but I mean you're not just easily doing this and it isn't mm-hmm. a big deal. Like they wanted it to be a big deal and feel like a momentous occasion to get to the top of the, sp- you know, his shoulders or his head or whatever is what it was always explained to me as. And so I think that was still their mindset doing this. And it's what we've talked about before is that you don't want to go into a twin snakes moment. Mm-hmm. Like in Metal Gear Solid, you know, the twin snakes on GameCube, I was so fucking excited to have my favorite game of all time in cutting edge graphics at the time and you know blah 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 and like you got in there and the addition of first person broke fights in there it broke your fight with uh gray fox like mm-hmm. you know it, you could just stand in the corner when before that was like such a fucking intense moment of running around trying to heal get away from him do all, now you're just, same thing with vulcan raven like mm-hmm. it in changed the, the way those games played and then made that not a lesser version of what it was trying to do, which obviously you're, anytime you take on, you're going to remake one of the greatest mm-hmm. games of all time. You're in trouble, yeah. but no one ever sits around as like twin snakes like that. No one's saying that's the definitive version and, of Metal and Gear. So here, here's the funny thing though. I feel like Metal Gear Solid is a totally different situation. Everything you just said is absolutely correct. Mm-hmm. I don't think when people say that Metal Gear Solid Twin Snakes is in the definitive version, it's because of that change. That's the thing that people are like, well, yeah, it's easier. But I feel like there's also an argument to be made that uh, in some of the cases, the tank one uh, in particular, it was way too hard in the original, like unnecessarily. Sure. And like just because it w- came first doesn't make it better. Um, so I feel like some of the changes were good. But yeah, the Psycho Mantis, or not Psycho Mantis, the uh, um, fucking Vulcan Raven, uh, Gray Fox. Ninja, Ninja, yeah. The Ninja fight was just like, yeah, it, that one that was supposed to be feel more like a struggle uh, because right. you're facing off against this fucking crazy thing. Um, and then the twin snakes made it kind of a joke. Now I don't uh, buy that shit when people talk about last guardian. Uh, well, so that's people totally talk different. about last but, guardian all the time. I'm like, Oh, well no, it's supposed to, you didn't no, want Tr- Trico wasn't supposed to listen to you. I'm well, like, well, okay. he can suck that's it. Then. Different. I don't want to play. Yeah. Again. <laughs> that's different. Uh, people don't like metal gear solid twin snakes because they changed the voice actors. They made him flip around too much. They turned to, to anime. Like, sure, sure, sure. Those are the things that make that not the definitive edition. Great game though. Uh, great. Game. I fucking re-release it. it. I really love it. Um, I'd fucking lose my shit if they re-release that release twin snakes. Yeah. Yeah. I don't care. Put it on switch only. Give me a fucking chance to get a yeah. platinum at it. Come the fuck Let me on. Get that Yoshi. Um, uh, but with Last Guardian, I mean, I I liked Last Guardian a lot, but Last Guardian is nowhere near the league of Shadow of the Colossus, and it could never be. And my thing is, I do not stand for one fucking second with the people that make the argument of, oh, you're supposed to struggle with the controls. I do stand by the struggling with Trico listening to you because that's what that game is about. It's about the relationship with this animal. And that is totally the art school thing, but it, that is the point of that game. And if you don't vibe with that, don't play the game. It's not for you. Shadow of the Colossus, totally different. The point of it is struggling to fight and take down these Colossus and Colossi and figuring out why you're doing it and what stand, side you stand on, on all of that. And if that's not for you, it's not for you. Because guess what? The controls fucking suck in Shadow of the Colossus. They always have and they always will. And if they didn't, it would be the twins. Uh, snakes situation where it's way too easy. If this game played like Breath of the Wild, it'd be way too easy, and any of the meaning of the game would be taken away, and it would be a bad game. So it's like it sucks that a bad controls make the game good, but good controls would make the game bad. Oh, look at that! Undeniably, like that's that is the truth of it because you need the struggle and you need to feel like you're having a, a actual physical connection with the game to have all the poignant moments be poignant or else it's just like it feels like an empty video game where you're playing tennis and not controlling your character so there you go captain frustration i, I want to play this version i want to give it a real shot it's just monster hunter came out too yep mm-hmm. and i got so hard come on and let the hunt be the hunted you know what and I mean? i'm telling you man if you if you jump from monster hunter to playing this the controls you're gonna be like nope well, I mean, monster hunter mm. isn't the most uh, intuitive either yeah but this is like ass backwards in, in a lot of ways right. of how things control where it's like why the fuck but it's like there's not much else going on sure you know um so no, it's an interesting interesting thing but i love the game so much i think people who are i think you know he's talking about his final part was like are will people look back at this like you know what i mean and like think i know i think the reason it's getting so much juice now is that it's so many people's favorite game of all time and it just got a stunning great re-release mm-hmm. pretty much you know what i mean but i guess and then so this it's the weird thing where like again i don't think this is going to be remembered as one of the playstation 4's best games i do think that shadow of the colossus dead stop that being the title will be remembered as one of the best games and i think that in the future when people talk about it they're going to play this version this. they're going to play this one sure. like and even the people playing it now that 
the people that connect with it now are going to be the same people. Like there's going to be the same amount of people that connected with it. Then it not being modern enough does not matter that that's not the point of the game. Mm -hmm. It wasn't modern then. I guess that's the, the argument that I'm trying to make is like not everyone liked it back then. A lot of people really liked it. A lot of people are fucking nerds. A lot of people are film snobs. A lot of people. It's like sure. that's not everybody. Right. Mm -hmm. Like think back but to over IBM. the years. Like, yeah, it's it. Even if you didn't play it at the time or like it at the time, you understand its influence and what it did. True. A lot of people like Citizen Kane. A lot of people pretend they like Citizen that Kane. It sucks. It doesn't suck, but it's it's not as good as people say it is. But see, but that's yeah. that, that, yeah. that's kind of the yeah. argument with all of this. Yeah, and I just yeah, feel yeah. like it's. The, do you think this one is going to bring enough new people so that in ten years they're still talking about it like they have been for the last yes. ten years? Yeah. This, well, this is like textbook out. history of video game stuff. Yeah. Like, this is it, this is an example that'll be this around is art. forever. This is video games or art. The argument. But what, what I'm saying is, started. is the remaster, like this, this new version, is that going to stoke that fire mm -hmm. and keep it going? I think so. Yeah. I mean, I, I think. Yeah. That, I think that's that's what his question was. Last Guardian yeah. is not going to be talked about in 15 years. No. Yeah. Or it's, 15 it's, minutes. It's going to be talked about in 15 years as, man, remember yeah, how long hype, that took yeah. to come out? Yeah, yeah, yeah the yeah, hype yeah. will be talked about in the story. That game's not going to be talked about. But Shadow Colossus, in some form, and I think it'll be this form, mm -hmm. will be talked about. Similar to JLo's booty. It's JLo's booty, man. Iggy Azalea, Iggy Iglesias version. I hate you. Iggy Azalea. You're, Iggy Azalea. you're right the first Fuck, damn it. Uh, I was thinking then Azalea Banks. There's just too many similar names. Uh, definitive version. Pitbull? No. Didn't no. cut No, it. no, 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 no. You guys right. gotta drop this. Never. I'm just saying it's a great song. You tried to it convince me that she had washed out Iggy Azalea, that she was gone. I saw she her is. pop up with some new tunes the other day. Is she not gone? No. She's, she's back? She's she didn't. Thank you. She's cool, gone. Greg. She's straight gone. I don't know. Look, look at her, look at her uh, YouTube views. Even what booty. Are, what do you mean? What do you mean? Look at her YouTube views. Going going to Twitter for the questions here. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go blow my mm -hmm. nose. I'm, I'm gonna, gonna sit here that. and look right at you. Uh, trying to find one for you, Big Kev Dog. Well, well, well. Jared Shaw at uh -huh. Queso Bro says, "Can I play Monster Hunter with you guys?" Um, maybe. How does that work? Like, would you would you guys be interested in playing with the community? I don't know. It's so complicated right now because I, I have such a like spoiled, weird version of it where I just play with Greg and I love that. Mm -hmm. So I'm on the headset talking to him the whole time. You'd hate it. Yeah. Um, but like, you can open up the world and have like another t like. 15 people join in mm -hmm. uh, and then we could theoretically all go on missions and like have you played Monster Hunter? Like do mm -hmm. you understand how convoluted the menus are and stuff? Like no. you can pull up the menus and then there's a little chat thing you people can talk through that or you can invite people in their party the PSN party but I imagine at some point you may be able to play with us in that world but I don't think you're ever going to be on the party chat with us. Mm -hmm. Sorry. DJ Gillard says we'll how much some people in the party chat? I don't know. You don't think so? I don't know. I like just being honest. Maybe we, we playing PUBG. I could see us doing oh that. Well, I'm just saying, like, think about it this way, though, right? <laughs> Where it's that we we open up the room for everybody to join yeah. in. They're posting their quests. You and I just come in. We join but up here's on their the quests. Monster Hunter World doesn't have chat, right? I don't know. I've only used party chat. I, I believe it doesn't have chat. So we're only why doing not, chat. Is that true? Someone, yeah, someone was. Uh, well, well I mean, like, then to that point, why wouldn't you just figure add, that out? He's, why wouldn't we just add people to the party? Because everybody would be stoked to join our party. And then we boot their, we gotta go boot find, their We gotta go find them and invite them. Okay. You know? That DJ like Gillard. DJ Gillard says, how much longer do I have to wait for an ActRaiser reboot? Buddy, I think you're, Long you're time. gonna die before that happens. I don't ever see an ActRaiser thing coming back. Ever? Ever. Yeah. Virtual console type releases, I think, mm. is the closest you'll ever get. You, know, got, yeah. virtual you got a game voice chat. You do? Yeah. All right, never mind. I was wrong. So maybe we will play together and talk. Greg. Yeah, but Tasmania says, when are we getting the Sucker Punch game? Ghost? Uh, 2019. Ghost of Tsushima? Yeah. Uh, you figure it got announced, what, at E3, right? Yep. Uh, no. I figure. Paris Games Week. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I think at E3, you get your first look at, well, your first real look at gameplay. That, that's what, maybe spring 2020. Either, yeah, spring 2020. There you go. Spring, Spring 2020. 2020. Right. Heard it here right? first. Because we're... That's a long time away. Wait, hold on. What year? Yeah. So you're right. No. Spring 2019. 2019. Sorry. Okay. I, I'm thinking wrong. It's fine. It's hard to do. So Spring. you figure Paris Games Week, it was in 2017. Yeah. This C3 will get some footage of them playing it. And then, yeah. Spring 
spring. Wait, do we see more of it elsewhere, or do you think probably? But yeah. I, well, I don't know. Sucker Punch at learned a lot of lessons with uh, Infamous Two. They always said where they so good. Did, yeah, but they showed too much Infamous of it. Every every trade show they had a new demo, and they yeah. really didn't like doing that. So I would see that you could get an E three demo this year. I don't know if it'll be playable. That's probably how they'll space it out. E three demo on stage, and then compares games with PSX. Maybe it's playable somewhere. And then yeah, release it. We know very little about this game, right? Just yeah, the one cool, trailer. And yeah. then they did a panel at PSX. It's open world. Yeah, yeah. it's you know what they're great I, at. I want to play it. Like, yeah, me too. Sucker Punch is great. Oh yeah. Nelson Murray says, "What do you guys think Nintendo's going to do for the one year anniversary of Switch?" Not a Nothing. Thing. They'll put a tweet out. Yeah, that's it. When are we going to get just everything that we like? It's missing because <laughs> it feels like it's still missing a whole bunch of shit. I mean, the, the things are slowly being answered. One of the questions was, "When are we going to get the Nintendo Gold?" Uh, points yep. to matter, and they announced today how they matter. So it's like those things. The question today, were, they announced today. Uh, I guess last okay. night. Um, Kevin Brown says, "How much is writing on the success of Spider-Man on PS4? What does the reception of that game mean for future Marvel exclusives on PS4?" You know, it's it's interesting. I don't think much is writing on it because yeah. it's going to be successful. It's going to be a ridiculous success. Yeah. Um, I don't what know. What if it isn't? Like, what if it isn't? Like, does that affect anything or? Do, because like the 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 Marvel games like that are announced or are being teased like they're not we don't even know they're connected or anything so they might they're be they're not connected they're yeah sure. okay so then like this game ha- doesn't tell us anything about the next games uh, but in terms of uh, Sony exclusivity this is the mm-hmm. only Sony exclusive one. I don't think I mean I think the long I think the game's gonna be a runaway success I think it's gonna uh, sell incredibly well do you think it's gonna sell better than all the other do you think it sells better than Uncharted Four. I think so. Yeah, really? I think too. Really? No, it's Spider Man. And Uncharted doesn't sell as much as you think it would. Mm. This is the thing you have what, 70, what is it, 76 million units in the wild right now? Mm-hmm. And like you, then you go, how many people know Spider Man versus how many people know Uncharted? Mm. Like, you yeah. know, Uncharted, like, by the time they got to the fourth one, like, they, sure. they've got a lot of love behind them. Sure, but there's plenty of people. Plenty who, of tens, you know, behind yeah. them. Yeah. <laughs> I tried. Yeah. I did my part to sell yeah. it. <laughs> no. Yeah, I think it'll sell better than that for sure. I don't think it'll be, you know, I don't see it failing, and I don't see it being a bad game. I don't know mm-hmm. how great it'll be. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? I think there's very, you know, we haven't yeah. we've only seen so much. But uh, God, I, so I, I, all that. that said, I don't think you see another exclusive. Yeah, I think this is something they worked really hard on and got out there and bust their ass to make happen. But I don't think you see Avengers be exclusive to PlayStation or Xbox. Even though I keep, I Maybe. would, I would be surprised. I wouldn't be shocked, right? I've talked. I think since we. Saw the first Avengers t- tr- teaser trailer. That's interesting. They didn't say platforms. Yep. It, you know, Xbox totally. is trying. I mean, we, there's so little we know about that game right now. I uh. superheroes and video games. I don't. You know, few have done it like really right. But I think the difference, like, it's not so much this is a superhero game. It's not so much this is a Spider-Man game. It's a PlayStation exclusive mm. that Sony is. No, and I, and I get that. I'm just saying, like, I, thinking about future, like, because we they've done Spider-Man four and like. They did it pretty good, but pretty they did. Good. They did, but like, yeah. I, it's still the difference of even the Avengers game. I don't think is going to be. It's not going to have the same type of meaning because it's not first party. Mm-hmm. That's that's it. Sure, sure. You know, so it's like it being exclusive gives it so much more, and not just console exclusive, but like, it's Omniacs making it. Yeah. you know, I don't know. Let's every day we're closer to the release date. Yeah, which means every day we're closer to having it. Telling you today, last night uh, I was at at dinner at a restaurant and there was a commercial playing and like Spider Man was in it. I'm like, wow, I was a little surprised that they were showing footage of this game because it's like we don't know when it's coming out. Like that's there, I I, that makes me believe it's sooner than later. Mm. Well, yeah, I mean, it's supposed to be first half of 2018. Yep, they're still pushing it. We'll see. I mean, they're all doing these, you know, studio wide play tests, and Brian's taking home and James is playing at his house. Like this game's. Really far along. I yeah. have to imagine yet. Every day we get a little bit closer to just getting there. Hey, guess what? Here's a release date and let's go. James Gomez or Josh Gomez says, Wow. <laughs> Josh Games, but it was games with a Z, <laughs> not Gomez. Are you sure it's, you know, okay. is it, is it it's game Josh Z? Games? Josh Games. Not Z. Game Z, no. Uh, how long until <laughs> everyone is as tired of Battle Royale games as they are with open world games? Yeah, Battle Royale. I don't know, man. They're so good. They're so good. Yeah. So uh, 
I think open world games is a is a shitty comparison to make. Not that, not to be that harsh, but like I think it's more of a comparison to MOBAs. I think you have a, more of a chance of it going in the MOBA direction, where everybody was like, MOBAs are the next thing, hero shooters are the next big thing, or free to play is the next big thing. Mm. Open world, tons of people bitch about open world. We all fucking love open yep. world games, and we play a million of them. And I don't think it's it's you're gonna it's gonna be a quality thing. It's not the quantity of them. Yeah, there's a million battle royale things coming, and they, they, I just saw. I didn't put it in the Roper report today, but some mobile company made a bajillion dollars off their mobile thing. It's like knives only or something, but it is PUBG basically. That's fine. <clears throat> You're gonna see lots of that. You're gonna see lots of people put this into their games and do all these different things with it. And I think in the same way that those games wouldn't have people wouldn't have cared about before, they won't care about those then because you have PUBG and you have Fortnite, right? When Red Dead does something with it, when GTA Online really does something with it, you're going to see a giant success there. When somebody does it on Switch, you'll see people pick it up and do something there. I don't think it's the same way of open worlds where being like, oh man, open world fatigue is like saying, oh man, zombie fatigue. Yep. Superhero movie fatigue. Yeah, sure. There are some people who but, are like, man, comes out and it's these like, are ridiculous. Shit, How I'm much are there? And people yeah. still love it all. Yeah, I don't think it's the exact same thing. Yeah. yeah. There you go. I answered for you. Good answer. I heard you guys talking. You pee fast, man. Good job. I had to, man. I got to push it out. Jesus, uh, his hands soaking wet. <laughs> that is true too. I wanted to get his back hand. to the show. <laughs> There's uh, also like no paper towels in there. I went to blow my nose. I was like, God damn it. Um. Okay. Wait, hold on. There was a good one that I want both of you to really give me. Cool, Greg. I don't open. I don't I touch anything that there. Dirty that look. dirty look was on purpose, Greg. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Good friend of the show, Cameron <laughs> Rooney. Okay, the guy, Rooney. Mr. Uh, RTX Australia. Given Shadow of ah. the Colossus, <laughs> given Shadow of the Colossus got a remaster and remake, what other remaster would you like to see in the style of this or Crash Bandicoot? <laughs> That'll be the last question of the show. I feel like you got to go so far back. You do. I mean, I, the, the easy answer for me is Metal Gear Solid. One. Mm. Oh, I man. Think they yeah. so easy. I think they can do it again. And, and why wouldn't they? Relevant. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, they will make so much money. Because mm-hmm. I'll buy it. You'll buy it. So many people will buy it. Dude, Metal Gear There's Solid 1, yes. Fox Engine, use the same VO from the original games. I, I'm sorry. I'm just, yeah, I, was, I had a, a moment there. Yeah. What was I moment? would say bring them all back and just have them record it. They're not going to do be that. Orgasm. They won't do that. Uh-huh. Why not? They just, they just won't. They didn't for Twin Snakes. They, I mean, sure. but, like that's the thing is like that because it's it, cheaper. Uh, <laughs> There's I mean, a company that really likes making money, well, and it's cheaper too. Yeah. But that I mean, an interesting thing there. Yeah, would Konami bring back David Hayter? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, but I mean, what? the thing Solid is, it, it wouldn't happen. And even if they did, it would be Civil War at the moment because there would be so many people like, "Fuck yes, Metal Gear and fucking Fox Engine, amazing." And there'd be a the side of like. This is even worse than Metal Gear Survive. <laughs> you got rid of this guy. Now you're taking one of his greatest games, if not his greatest game, and fucking redoing it without him. Like I'm fine with that, though. Wow, you're a piece of. I'm garbage. fine with that. that. You know, they wouldn't. Fuck Konami, they, all that stuff. Sure, great, whatever. Like Survive, eh, no. Yeah. To me, Metal Gear Solid remade is something that we could want. In Fox and Fox Engine's great. Pretty much to me, there's nothing at, from a gamer point of view that's bad about that. Fox Engine's awesome. The cutscenes done in the same style that they did the uh, Pachinko, Pachinko machines, machines and yeah. all that. Sign me the fuck Damn, up. Damn, yeah. Like, I mean, don't get me wrong. Politics aside, the, get, overcoming the politics is easy enough. It would just require Konami to be a different kind of company, mm-hmm. and it would have to be that hey, everybody, Kevin Coelho is in charge of making this Metal Gear remake, right? And so, we'll make it good. At E3 or wherever, at some big presentation, he comes out just on stage. And he's like, hey. We're remaking Metal Gear Solid Five with, or Metal Gear Solid in Fox Engine. We're doing this, and he's like, "I know this is gonna upset people. I'm the, I'm the biggest Metal Gear fan, and I want to see this. You know, I want to see this game live again. I want to see people from a brand new generation get to play Thank it. You. I want to play the best version I can possibly make while honoring Kojima. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like, say him by name and do all these totally. different things, and blah, blah 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 blah. And hopefully, by the time this would ever happen, enough time has passed that, like, let's say it was me." Where I could go to Kojima and be like, hey, like everybody who was an asshole before has kind of gone, which wouldn't have happened and it isn't true. As, like, I, want, I want to do this with your thing and with your blessing. And, blah, blah, blah. and if you get that, then you're okay. That won't happen. That, that wouldn't happen. Happened, and like, yeah. Konami could, could, could wouldn't do it this way. Yeah. And so then it would just be this giant clusterfuck of people having crazy emotions on how they, what to do and what not to do. But yeah. if, they, if they did did just decide to remake it with the original voices and it was just a like, 
hey, pretty. We're, yeah, we're making it pretty and it's going to feel right. Mm -hmm. You wouldn't jump on that? I'd want to play yeah. it for sure. Yeah, yeah, no, I mean, I, but I mean, like, I, there would be a lot of haters, but at the same time, when it comes out, oh, I, I guarantee you, there's gonna be a lot of people. I mean, the easier it. way to do this right now would be to test the water and put back out the Metal Gear Legacy collection on PlayStation Four and Xbox One, mm -hmm. right? Go back to Blue Point. Hey, you just you just crush out of the Colossus. Great. Can you recrush what you crushed before? Like, we want yeah. that PS3 version to get one definitive collection of every Metal Gear. You know what I mean? Include like, include four. Yeah. I guess. Yeah. 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 Like, go ahead and give them that kind of thing and see how people react to that. Because, mm -hmm. like, survive is going to be interesting. I'm still very interested to see what happens. Yeah. But see, even but those, survive are, is those are different than, than like, Shadow and Crash, where it, like, the Reed Mickey and Fox Engine would be the equivalent. Well, of that's it. what like I'm saying, though, more. is test the waters. Yeah. Do this and see if mm -hmm. people are going to buy it, if people care, or if they are just like, fuck you still. I guess my thing is, I'm I don't care about it. the people. It's like, <laughs> I want it in Fox. <laughs> and I feel like. But like, I get that. But I mean, like, Konami's a business. And yeah. they have to figure out they, would, they, would this sell and how would it go and what. Blah, blah, blah. That's like, I think it would sell. I think, I think it, it I would, think sell. That would like, sell. How way many more. people want to want to play all of those games or any of those games on PS4? Yeah, no, I know. Because like I know I really want it. Like I miss Metal Gear Solid 2, and I can see it right there. It's beautiful. Do, 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 yeah. do, 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 do. I mean, what's the other thing? You have all the games in Fox Engine. Yeah. That's a whole other fucking. Well, I mean, you'd imagine if one sells really well, why wouldn't they just do the rest? Woo. Yeah. I don't know. Um, other. Other examples, I don't know. It's so weird because Crash getting it was like actually unbelievable to me that they did all three of them. That is so nuts. But those are much smaller games. I can't. I can't believe Medieval is getting it too. And see, fuck that. I, yeah, but I like Medieval. Like it was a game I grew up playing the demo disc mm -hmm. forever and ever and ever. Exactly. So exactly. Yeah. That's it. But and no, that's, I had the actual game too. Yeah. Later. I guess my thing is like, uh, I respect it for what it is and yeah. the character and PlayStation lineage. I never oh, enjoyed that Spiral. game. I didn't enjoy it when they remade it the first time on PSP. Didn't even know they remade it the they first did. time on PSP. Wow. <laughs> we'll see how well this one does. Yeah. Not Spiral, well. though. I, huh? Not well is my Not prediction. Well. My prediction too. I hope they've, they, I, I'm um, sure they've set their numbers pretty low on what yeah. they think it would be. Yeah, it's... It, it's such a gut reaction to Crash selling well and Something now they this being an Activision's hand. It's... These remakes are an interesting play. Shadow of the Colossus, I think, was a very smart call on their part, but that was also totally unexpected. I would have never called that. Are we not trying to save the dragon? We're trying to save the dragon. Okay. So Spyro is another, another... Unleash the dragon. Unleash the dragon. That's like. right. Um, the, the Spyro... I don't know. Like, a lot I of people... Do I talk remember to me about those this. games a lot? Yes. Okay. You have rose-colored glasses for yeah. those games. For Spyro? Yeah. Spyro's fucking awesome. Thanks for watching the games cast, everybody. The fuck? Spyro's great. Uh... Totally great. They're leaving because of how ridiculous we're being, I guess. Yeah, I'm not being ridiculous. Um, but Spyro... You're old. I am old. That, I, am I think old. that could be it. So that meant that I had a better understanding of those games when I played them. Like, no, right, whatever. you were just in that phase where you're like, games are dumb. I haven't found Metal Gear yet. I was like, flip my hair back? Yeah. Yeah, yeah probably. Yeah. yeah, I don't know. We'll, we'll talk about the whole Spyro thing at another time because we got to get deeper into that. That involves Activision. All their, all their plans with Crash Bandicoot interest me. Who the fuck knows where we're at with these things? I think that Sony's going to make more remakes that are based on Sony games. Sure. Is I still want an infamous collection. I want to play, and I don't, it doesn't need to be from the ground up. It's not what you're talking about. It's not a crash remaster yeah. situation, but yeah, you're, that's just fucking give me infamous one and two on PlayStation 4. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know that I really have I many that are this anymore again. that yeah, are necessary. No. I think Metal Gear Solid would be a great one, but besides that, I, there isn't too many things that, that need to be brought back. Tanshu, man. Siphon filter. SOCOM gets brought up a lot. SOCOM 2, people are talking about. Sure, yeah. The people who love SOCOM love SOCOM. And I yeah. think that's uh, not going to happen. Yeah. Well, let us know in the comments below what game you think deserves this type of treatment and what game you would just want to get this type of treatment. Till next time, I love you. Thanks for watching that thrilling episode of Kind of Funny Games Cast. Click here. <laughs> Sounds like you're being sarcastic to yourself. <laughs> to subscribe to Kind of Funny Games. Click there. To subscribe to YouTube.com slash Kind of Funny. And click here. Uh, you know, just for whatever Cool Greg puts there. Cool Greg.